Hi Lunatics, here we are again. Um, it's a pink moon this time. That's good for Nick Drake fans. I'm just a part of everything. I stand on two legs and I learn to sing. It's not what was said and it's not what I heard. I walk with my dog and I whistle with the bird. This month, the song is Io, which is also the name for the project, for the album, for the tour. Um, why I.O.? Uh, other than it's two letters. Well, input, output. It was a reflection in part about the interconnectedness of everything. Stuff coming out, stuff going in. I'm just a part of everything. Stuff coming out, stuff going in. I'm just a part of everything. So I think we really live apart. Cause we got two legs, a brain and a heart We all belong to everything To the octopus suckers and the buzzard's wing To the elephant's trunk and the buzzing bee's sting Stuff coming out, stuff going in I'm just a part of everything I think the older I get, I probably don't get any smarter, but I have learned a few things uh, trying to listen and observe and uh, it makes a lot of sense to me that we're not these independent islands that we like to think we are that we're part of a whole um, you know I think if you look up again in space and you see sort of matter collecting and forming something solid you know in a way I think we're very similar we we we're formed maybe with a sperm and an egg and a twinkle of the eye, but it's actually just a collection of atoms and molecules and uh, and those grow as you put food in and you shit stuff out. Um, and intellectually too, you, you absorb stuff and you put it out. And, and when we're gone, these atoms um, they're not going to escape, they're going to go somewhere else and be used for something else. In a sort of gentle way, if we can see ourselves as better connected, um, you know, still messed up individuals, but as part of a whole, and I can't always get into that state of mind, but when I'm in that state of mind, um, it brings some, not happiness, but some sense of place and purpose. Um, so that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to get breachy with any of this stuff. Um, but uh, to me, I think I'm a, I'm not a religious person, but I'm maybe a, a humanitarian humanist interested in spiritual matters. I think we're part of a bigger picture. You know, the last song was talking about time. And I think the future has echoes in the present day. And sometimes when we're being open and listening, we can pick those up. For example, I, I know that when I'm doing the right thing, uh, all sorts of coincidences start happening. Things start falling into place. I think everyone has access to all sorts of stuff that isn't immediately clear in our mind. And, and there are echoes of the past and the future that we can pick up on. Um, those of religious bent will th think it's the messages from, or the voice of God or whatever. But from my position, I, I just think there are other things at work that we can plug into. <laughs> ways that I've found to um, to feel better and and I think now I have a much more balanced sort of state is uh, just observing how I interact and connect with everything else and uh, you know by trying to separate things you know when, 
In fact, I wrote about this on the song Only Us. It's, I read somewhere that you can tell how civilized someone is, where they put the boundary between them and us. And someone who doesn't have any them. Um, and I've met a few of those people. I mean, one of the brilliant things with the elders was, um, I mean, they're all extraordinary people. Archbishop Tutu or President Carter, these are people who really, I mean, Mary Robinson now, I mean, there were so many of them, but Kofi, they, they all put other people ahead of themselves. And, and there's no sort of separation, the us and them thing. And it's, um, so that makes you think, uh, you know, I can be plenty selfish and focused on, on my own or my immediate family ahead of the world. But um, if you can feel how that all connects, uh, then I, I think there's that sense of separation dissolves. And uh, you see that the truth is that, yeah, it's just part of everything. And that was where I wanted to be with this song. I think one of the things that gives us a slightly better chance of survival through climate and all the rest is a realization that we're part of nature, that the planet that gave us birth uh, is our mother and we need to look after it. And um, our sort of selfish, independent desires are um, destroying it. Uh, and we're all a mixture of good and bad and both, but somehow this sort of transcendence and idea of trying to see the bigger picture and the long-term picture um, are what maybe is age appropriate for an old man, but it's also, um, I think, important. And so if we can connect with other living beings better and understand them, there's absolutely no question in my mind we're surrounded by intelligent life. Uh, we don't have to go to other planets to look for it. Um, it's just we're not smart enough to recognize it. That's what the interspecies internet is doing. There's also various people who are looking at the way we get divided, um, polarization, the sense that social media in particular, uh, while doing many good things, has really focus the divisions between people and the illusion of separateness. That, I think, is the essence of the song. When I was a kid, I had a little steering wheel, you know, we could put it in my family car, and it did absolutely nothing, but I had the illusion that I was driving it. And I think we're all on these little floating islands with these steering wheels, thinking we're controlling and steering everything. Uh, we do have influence on direction, but but it, it's all connected. And in the song, Family in the Fishing Net, I was trying to write about that from a sort of family point of view that, you know, you, you only see the, the two individuals, but actually it's these two larger organisms of two families that are finding a way to connect through those individuals. We are all connected and what happens with one place affects others that judging, separating, um, doesn't really help us. This month we've got uh, a wonderful artist, Olafur Eliasson, I'll probably mispronounce your name, but I've known Olafur for a little while. Um, met Actually, we were both hustling for different projects in Davos, and uh, w we met with Mohammed Yunus, um, an amazing man, um, and Olafur had his little sun project, which is a wonderful thing where he's bringing solar powered lights to um, lots of people all over the world where they don't have access to electricity. Uh, it's a brilliant project. Check it out, little sun. But he's an extraordinary uh, artist who's, I think, uh, in many ways, a sort of king of light. He's playing a lot of his work is to do with light and with nature and uh, so I really felt that for this song in particular um, he would be absolutely perfect. I was delighted when uh, he said yes and um, this is called I think Colour Experiment 114 is from 2022 um, 
but he's also been helping us with a a piece for the for the tour um which is it's very simple but i think very beautiful um uh, it's just we turn white light into color um you've all seen that with a prism and he does it in this case uh with a mirror um a, a long strip of mirror in an elliptical dish and we well we we're, we're still experimenting at the moment for the tour but but the idea is we'll try and find a way to animate it so it'll be a, a, a little thing not a big dazzling thing but um but seeing the way that that uh white light is transformed into color in many ways sort of represents what i'm talking about in the song in the sense that there's some life force which never leaves really the the universe is still present but changes its form collects different atoms neurons around it um becomes life dies transforms into something else you know and in the same way that I'm talking about, you know, what I would love to, when I'm dead and gone, be planted under an old oak tree or a young oak tree, I don't really mind. Um, but so what's left of me is visibly absorbed into another life form. Um, it could be an alien but uh, or a flower, but uh, if I, my choice is honored, then it'll be an oak tree. And I think that sort of symbolizes, you know, us moving into other things. But maybe back to Olafur. He's done wonderful shows, experiences that get us, I think, to reconsider how we interact with our environment. You know, I think Olafur, in some ways, is this sort of uh, mixture between artist, um, scientist, magician, um, and uh, but he all the time has a, a mission and something to say about the world and uh, and nature and and light and uh, and our experience of it. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I would have been greatly disappointed had he not wanted to get involved with this. I've worked with the Soweto Gospel Choir on I.O. It's such gifted musicians. They've done some of the arrangement. They're a uh, wonderful group, and it's a real pleasure. Uh, and you can just feel that energy whenever they sing um, on this record or on the, the song I did for Wally. Uh, it's just, uh, it's joyous. It hits you in the heart. And so having that on, on this and on, there's another song called Live and Let Live, which is coming out later on. Um, they feature very strongly in that too. Um, yeah, thoroughly recommended. Enjoy. I hope you haven't got too distracted uh, like I have and uh, you have a good month. I'll see you very soon.